Hi guys, welcome to basics of HVAC, heating, ventilation and air conditioning. My name is Mujib Khan and today we are going to see refrigeration cycle. Now today I am going to explain you what is refrigeration cycle in a HVAC system. This is part 2.1. So before we learn about refrigeration cycle, what is a refrigerant and how does it helps your air conditioners? So before we do go into brief and see how does the refrigeration cycle works, we need to understand what is a refrigerant. And in order to do so, let us begin. A refrigerant is a substance or a mixture, usually a fluid. It is used in a refrigeration cycle. In most cycles, it undergoes phase transitions from liquid to a gas and back again. Many working fluids have been used for such purpose, depending on their included chemical elements. Now, a refrigerant chemical composition, hydrogen, carbon, chlorine, fluorine. Refrigerant is also known as a freon refrigerant. They are named after as follows CFCs, HCFCs and HFCs. CFC is a chemical composition of a chlorofluorocarbons. HFC is hydrochlorofluorocarbons and HFC is hydrofluorocarbon. Properties of a refrigerant. The most common types of refrigerants are azeotropic refrigerant and zeotropic refrigerant. What does it mean? Let it understand. Azeotropic is a mixture of two or more refrigerants whose vapor and liquid phase retain identical composition over a wide range of temperatures. So, a liquid refrigerant can be in, in its pure state or it can be a mixture of two or more refrigerants. And to be a zootropic refrigerant, it needs to retain the liquid phase identical composition over a wide range of temperatures. Zootropic refrigerant boils at constant temperature. Typical example of a zootropic picture can be seen below. R502 R503. These two refrigerants are mixtures of two independent refrigerants which R22 and R115, R23 and R13. Zeotropic refrigerant. Zeotropic mixture is one whose composition in a liquid phase differs to the vapors in phase. Zeotropic refrigerant do not boil at constant temperature. Typical example of a zeotropic mixture can be seen below. R404A, R407C, R410A. Types of refrigerant. As we discussed before, CFC, HCFC and HFC. So what does this mean? Refrigerants are generally classified into one of the above three substances. Brief explanation of each to help you understand the difference. So let us understand what is the difference between these three types of chemical composition of refrigerants and which one is the one which we are using it right now. CFC refrigerant. These are substances containing carbon, fluorine and chlorine chemicals. The CFC refrigerant is not totally banned from use or production within all countries. The CFC refrigerant such as one popular R12 has the highest ozone depletion. It is unlikely that many systems exist in operation with this refrigerant. Well, this CFC refrigerants are no longer used and they are totally banned from all the countries. HCFC refrigerant 
These are substances containing hydrogen, carbon, fluorine, and chlorine chemicals. The HF3 refrigerant, such as popular R22, has a potential to damage ozone rating and it also a greenhouse gas. There are still many systems utilizing this refrigerant. R22 friends, is already banned and is no longer being utilized. But there are still in many countries in existing system R22 is still being used. So sooner or later this has to be eliminated. Now HFC refrigerant. HFC refrigerant, these are substances containing hydrogen, fluorine and carbon chemicals. The HFC gas used extensively in everyday system. There is no current ban upon these gases, but responsible use and equipment inspection is mandatory. The HFC refrigerant has no ozone depletion potential, including R410A and R134A. With no chlorine in the mix, this is safer for the environment and now being used in place of R22. The main reason for using HFC refrigerant, as you can see, there is no chlorine in the mix. Ozone depletion. Now let us understand what is an ozone depletion and what is the effect of this and why these two refrigerants are eliminated and why HFC refrigerant is being used. Ozone depletion is a decay of the protection ozone layer that filters out harmful UV lights. The UV lights from the sun transfers to our earth with the harmful rays. So the ozone layer protects our earth. Due to this chlorine mixture, the ozone layer has been hampered and there were holes in the ozone layer. A ozone depletion substance can remain in the stratosphere for a long period, causing holes in the layer and allowing harmful UV rays to reach the earth surface. Now let us understand what is a vapor compression refrigeration cycle. Equipment. The first and major equipment in any refrigeration cycle is a compressor. The liquid refrigerant passes through the compressor. The refrigerant is compressed in the compressor and then is transferred to the condenser where the heat is rejected. It can be air cooled or water cooled. Then the refrigerant is passed through an expansion valve and the fourth stage it is passes through the evaporator where the actual cooling happens in any refrigeration cycle. Two different pressures exist in a refrigeration cycle. So let us understand the low pressure side and the high pressure side of any refrigeration cycle system. Now the concept of refrigeration cycle remains same in any refrigeration system starting from a refrigerators, window AC, split AC and large chill water or chiller system. The low pressure side as you can see the evaporator or the low pressure side in the low side. The condenser or high pressure in the high pressure side. Refrigeration is a removal of heat from a material or substance so that the temperature is lower than that hot of the surroundings. The cycle is built on the physical principle that is a liquid extract heat from the surrounding areas as it expands into gas. To accomplish this, the refrigerant is pumped through a closed loop pipe system. The closed loop pipe system stops the refrigerant from becoming contaminated and controls its streams. The refrigerant will be both a vapor and a liquid in the loop. In a 
closed loop system the refrigerant is not at all exposed and it goes through phase changes inside the closed loop system two different pressure exists in the refrigerant circuit the evaporator or the low pressure side is low side and the condenser or the high pressure side is the high side now let us understand the phase change of a refrigerant throughout the refrigeration cycle from 1 to 2 as you can see the superheated vapor passes through the compressor the compressor the refrigerant is compressed and it is converted to a hot gas where the phase changes then again when the compress from the compressor when the refrigerant is passes through the condenser the heat is rejected the heat rejection process in the condenser happens through a fan in a air cooled system and through water in a water cooled system then the liquid refrigerant which is passed over a control valve also known as expansion valve where the expansion of a refrigerant takes place and the liquid refrigerant is saturated and cooled down in the evaporator and in the evaporator the actual cooling takes place this cycle is a continuous cold closed loop system the properties of refrigerant which is very important which a all or any refrigerant should possess low boiling point low freezing point high latent heat chemically inert and stable non flammable non toxic should not react with lubricants oils of compressor should not be corrosive define any substance capable of absorbing heat from another required substance can use as a refrigerant that is ice water brine air etc now as we are talking about hvac system we, our main concern of a refrigerant is freon and as well as water refrigerant refrigerant is classified into two different terminologies primary refrigerant and secondary refrigerant in any hvac system these two terminologies are commonly used now let us understand what is the primary refrigerant they take place directly in the refrigerant system example freon and ammonia primary dx refrigeration system direct expansion refrigeration system is 100% refrigerant charges from the compressor to condenser and to the evaporator so the primary refrigerant is what we have seen is a closed loop system of a refrigerant freon itself what is the secondary refrigerant secondary refrigerant first they are cooled by the primary refrigerant and then they are circulated to cool the system example chill water now as you can see in this diagram the primary refrigerant is on the left hand side loop and the secondary refrigerant which is water is on the right hand side so when the primary refrigerant cooling happens in the evaporator the heat, the cooling is again carried forward through a secondary refrigerant which is water to the different system in a hvac building or any part of hvac design end of part 2.1 thank you very much guys hope you like this video and do not forget to like and subscribe my channel and provide your comments so that i can make many more videos for you thank you very much